and welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Monday. I am Damila Labudu. No life was lost when a known gunman in the early hours of Monday attacked a police station in the Umaya South local government area of Abia State. The Akumiru Ubakala State Police Station in Umaya South local government area of Abia State was attacked around 2 a.m. in the early hours of Monday. May 17th. The state police commander had yet to react to the incident as at the time of filing this report. Two police stations in the states were raced down by gunmen last week. The Nigerian Labour Congress Kaduna State Chapter have raised alarm over alleged plan by Kaduna State Government to mobilize hoodlums to discredit its planned protest on Monday in Kaduna. The state chairman, Comrade Ayuba Suleiman, disclosed this in a statement dated May 16, 2021. He called on the general public to be vigilant and stand against the plan by the state government to discredit the peaceful protest. He also urged them to remain calm and peaceful throughout the five days warning strike period. Former President Goodluck Jonathan has warned the international community against taking sides in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine. In total, 197 Palestine had been killed in Gaza, including at least 58 children and more than 1,200 wounded. Since Israel launched its air campaign against Hamas, a terrorist organization on May 10, after the group fired rockets, the heaviest exchange of fire in years was packed by unrest in Jerusalem. But taken to Twitter on Monday, the ex-president Jonathan said the conflict can only be resolved when those living within the borders of Israel and Palestine take the time to understand each other until they come to a place where they can coexist. He also called for peace on both sides, adding that the international community should work towards ensuring a ceasefire. A suspected armed robber named Imano, who has been terrorizing the residents of Aidi Ogbese in a current of the government area of Ondo State, has been mobbed to death. It was gathered that a suspect who had been convicted earlier had been on the watch list of residents of the town after he was released. However, the suspect met his Waterloo on Sunday when he was trying to escape with four motorcycles he had snatched from their owners, but the truck being used to convey them broke down. He was caught and a resident mopped him and beating him up mercilessly. A spokesperson of Ondo State Police Command, DSP Leo Ikoro, confirmed the incident to the newsman on Monday via telephone conversation, noting that the suspect had been badly injured before the police arrived at the scene. According to him, the suspect died before getting to the hospital. South Africa on Monday launched a second phase of COVID-19 vaccinations targeting people who are aged 60 years and above. The health minister, Zueli Mackenzie, said on Sunday that a target would be achieved if the anticipated orders of vaccines were delivered on time. The immunization of health workers started in February when it became the first country worldwide to administer inoculations by U.S. pharma group Johnson & Johnson. South Africa earlier this year purchased AstraZeneca vaccines and they sold them to other African countries following fears that it will be less effective. South Africa has the highest number of coronavirus cases in Africa with more than 1.6 million infections and over 55,000 deaths. Safety and security begin with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News highlight. For details, visit www.signaturetv.org. And please do join us this time in the evening for Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Chibu Ezeobi, thanks for watching. I am Damilola Abudu.